for the FLX 4-H Learning Launchpad. I'm Renee Hopkins, a 4-H educator in Livingston County, and today I'm here to talk to you about force. We're going to be doing an activity from this curriculum, which is specially designed for clover buds. It's from the Utah Extension offices, and I will share with you a link so you can get your own copy if you'd like. So let's get started. I always like to start with questions to get our minds thinking. What makes this car stop moving? Force. And what stops this ball from rolling? That's right, force. But what is force? It's something that pushes things away. Force is the push and pull on an object. Let's explore a little. Can you jump up in the air? Can you jump up in the air and not come down? I can't! What force made you come back down? Gravity. Gravity is always working to keep us in contact with the Earth. Now let's explore a little more. Can you rub your hands together really, really fast? What force did you create when you rubbed your hands together? That force is called friction, and different objects have different amounts of friction when they rub together. So let's set up some experiments and explore the forces of gravity and friction even more. Here are some things you'll need things that roll. Toys work great, but I bet you can find some other things at home too. You're going to need to make a simple ramp. I just used a book propped up on my sneakers. You'll need a tape measure, a paper and pencil or pen, some different surfaces to roll on. I'm using these three, but you can use whatever you have at home. All right, let's get set up. First, we're going to prepare our data collection sheets. Data is the information that we want to collect. We're going to keep track of what surface we're rolling on, which objects are rolling, and the measurements for each one. Make sure you have plenty of room. Set up your ramp. I started off with a low angle. And then stretch out your tape measure all across the floor. Be sure the tape measure is lined up with the edge of your ramp. Ready to roll? Line up your first item and let it go, but remember, don't push the item, let it roll on its own. <gasps> Wait! Let's make predictions first. A prediction is a guess about what we think will happen. So which objects do you think will roll the farthest? I think it was the big can of salt. The big can. Which object do you think will roll the shortest? The cart. The little can. Okay, now let's roll. Pull it back and let it go. Record the distance after each roll. I rounded to the nearest inch. Then you just keep on rolling the objects and recording the measurements. Try to do at least three rolls for each object, and then we'll take an average for each one. Now let's look at the data. Remember, data is the information that we wanted to collect. So we're going to find the average distance for each of the objects. A grown-up can help you find that. So which object rolled the farthest? Well, according to our data, it was the small sauce can. And which object rolled the shortest distance? Again, when we look at our data, it was actually the construction vehicle that rolled the shortest. So were your predictions correct? So why did different objects roll different distances? Remember the force. Gravity is keeping the object touching the floor. 
and each object had a different surface, so the friction between the object and the floor was also different. Now let's change surfaces and see if we get a different result. We'll try a yoga mat this time as our surface. Rolling on the yoga mat, here we go. Oh wait! We need to make predictions again. So which object will roll the farthest and the shortest on the yoga mat? Okay, now let's roll. Take your measurements just the way you did before and roll each object at least three times. Now let's look at the data. Remember, find an average distance for each of the objects. A grown-up can help. This time the farthest distance was the tennis ball. Did that surprise you? And the shortest was the construction toy again. Did that surprise you? Now let's try the towel. Oh wait! Did you make your predictions yet? For the farthest and the shortest distances? All right, get your towel set up and start rolling. Take all your measurements just the way you did before. And now let's check our data and predictions. Remember to get your averages. Oh, the tennis ball rolled the farthest again. And the construction toy was the shortest again. So why did some things roll farther or shorter distances? Remember the forces. Gravity keeps the objects touching the floor. Friction slows the roll. More friction equals shorter distances. Try more experiments on your own. Can you find more things to roll? Find that what things that will roll really, really far? Can you find more surfaces? Ones that will create lots of friction or very little friction? Can you change the ramp? Does a longer ramp change the distances or the angle of the ramp? Whatever you do, have fun and share what you learn. We would love to hear from you. And remember the force.